There's a word that we've been using in, in our conversations of, of witnessing. One of the key aspects of creativity is being a witness, being a faithful witness, being an attentive listener, uh, a thoughtful conversationalist, an engaged participant. But I go back as a musician to that notion of how we listen and what a gift it is to be drawn into the presence of other musicians or into a room where people are actively listening and, and quickly have that deep sense that creativity and creation is happening in the realm of a musical performance or, or an evening in a church or in a, in a club. But what's happening is we are witnessing one another in a certain vulnerability, a certain openness. It's also all the way through so much of our spiritual and religious practices, like why we gather in congregations. What are we doing when we, when we spend a Sunday morning reflecting on a biblical text? What's behind it, I feel, is quite similar. It's that, that dance towards something vulnerable where we're able to say to one another, I, I, I see you. I, I, and I end, I honor you. I find in the course of my uh, path in life, constantly being struck by the wonder of the other person. And, and wanting to know more, being curious, wanting to know more. and. In that moment, wanting to create something together, I guess, and that maybe that's my bias as a as a musician. I got a question for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, and, and it's not. I just just as we're talking about sort of the history of jazz and how it intersects with qualities of life, I gotta say, I hear the history of jazz in your guitar playing. <laughs> okay, it, it's 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 tangible. Um, and I, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'm just so aware of that coming through. If I think about it from my point of view, what comes to my mind is when somebody is really comfortable in their skin, then their truth comes through. That, that's how I look at all sorts of things in terms of music and life, I guess. But I'm just... You do that really well, that musically. <laughs> and I'm just, you know, I don't know if, well, if, that, if those, those connections are, are yours, but I'm just curious how, how it is that you find that sort of connection happening. I think I, a long time ago, decided not to really separate musics by genre or anything. In my own music, I mean, I, yeah, I think I just don't, try not to distinguish too much because that's like what I was saying previously that's when something interesting is going to happen when you're mixing different ideas together and co coming up with something a new combination it doesn't necessarily have to be a new sound you're blending the cultural backgrounds of those musics sure and I also think being musicians, we can only play kind of what we've soaked in over yeah. the years. Also, we can't help but do that. All the music that we've listened to is going to uh, mix together, and some people might spend their life only listening to Charlie Parker or Coltrane or something. Um, but I think most people are gonna, gonna listen to a bunch of stuff. What comes to mind is that moment when playing music with somebody, if I'm vulnerable enough to let their choices speak deeply to me, to me I, I hear even more. Not just what they're playing on their guitar or their drums or their, or their bass. I'm, I'm hearing identity. I'm hearing their ears for sure. I'm hearing their ability to choose sounds and, 
and, and emotions and shape them in some way. So that's a very clear connection to music and that would be enough, that would be enough. But then there's another layer, how I hear an, a social movement in, in my community. The voices from you know, a community that might uh, be marginalized. I can say it's also my, my duty to hear that voice, but being curious about it really helps as we try to build bridges between communities and identities and understandings. Curiosity is such a rich resource to help us become better and more active listeners.